Last year, US and NATO troops left Afghanistan into the hands of the Taliban. Several military items were abandoned by the US while escaping, which subsequently fell into the hands of the Taliban. While ceding Afghanistan to the Taliban, the US evacuated merely a few hundred senior officers, and the rest special forces commandos were abandoned by the US and its western allies. It was termed the Biden administration's Afghanistan blunder. It is reported that around 30,000 volunteer commandos were left behind when Afghanistan fell to the Taliban. They were trained by the US and its allied forces and they fought alongside them for almost two decades. After the hasty US withdrawal, the Taliban began hunting them down. Some of these commandos escaped to neighboring countries and became refugees, and many are hiding in Afghanistan to avoid capture and execution. Now in a twist, Afghanistan's elite National Army Commando Corps are getting recruited by Russia to fight in Ukraine. They are jobless, low on morale, living in deplorable conditions and forced to hide like prisoners. This is what they got after fighting 20 years shoulder to shoulder alongside the US and its allies. Their integration into the Russian military wouldn't be an uphill task. These commandos might see the Russian offer as an opportunity to evade persecution in Afghanistan. Some reports claim that Iran may be helping Russia recruit Afghan commandos. Russia might use the Wagner mercenaries for recruiting these commandos and replenishing its forces. These highly skilled fighters might prove to be game changers on the Ukrainian battlefield. This reminds me of Shrimad Bhagavad Gita. We are free to choose whatever we want. But after making the choice, we have no say in choosing the result of that choice. We will get back exactly what we have chosen. I would end this session with Dr. Jay Shankar's words. India has chosen a side. It is a side of peace and it is for an immediate end to violence.